Hello everyone, I hope you are well. It's Nick here, and this music is a little bit strange. It's trying to find a tune somewhere, but we're going to have a look at GB Air Rally on the ZX Spectrum, published by Activision in 1988. Also come out on the Anschluss CPC and the Commodore 64. Already reviewed this on the Commodore Amiga, and I was quite impressed with it, so we'll see how it plays on old 8-bit technology. But you control a stump plane, and you must avoid other planes, race against the clock, and get through a single checkpoint. Collisions cost you time, collide too much and you will crash straight off the course, and you will also crash. So I'm that plane down the bottom. Um, this seems a bit awkward. Let's see if I can get it to take off. Now, it's supposed to be able to pull back on the joystick and it takes off. I'm having a bit of trouble getting off the ground here. This isn't good. So it's based on an airplane, a stunt plane from the 1930s. Oh, this is not going good at all. Um, top left is your time ticking down. Why can't I take off? Not a good start, Nick. Not a good start. Right, we're off, finally. Now, you can slow down by going up, like flying up the screen, and, spe and increase speed by dipping down. We need to keep between, this is a bit hard to see this, This we've got to keep between these two markers. You can see markers going down the left and markers going down the right. We've got to stop between those two. You'll see other planes there, other competitors. If we bump into them, we're in trouble, so use them to try and see roughly where we're going to go. But it moves very fast, this one. It moves very fast for a ZX Spectrum 48K game. It's not up to the Commodore Amiga, of course, but it's going good. Now, remember to blink here, because um, it is going to do your eyes in quite badly. Any long-term um, play on this, it's going to um, do you up. Uh, sound is quite quiet. You just hear the uh, propeller going around of the airplane, but that's not too bad, because um, I don't blame it for that, because the computer is doing quite a lot of stuff here. Oh, we've only got five seconds left. I don't think we're going to make up that time from not taking off. So hopefully that's just a blip. Are we going to do it? No, right, time has expired. Oh dear. This could be over quite quickly. Now, I do know a poke for infinite time, so if we don't get off this level soon, I'll put that in just to see what the other ones look like. Uh, a similar game to this is Space Racer, but this is much, much better than that already. Space Racer was a bit of a dog. So just going through a single checkpoint, not multiple checkpoints, just a single checkpoint. Right, you've got, right. Now it's fire button and forward to speed up and then pull back on the joystick to lift off. If I can't do it this time, perhaps I'll do it on keys. Come on. All right, we're up in the air this time, so we've got half a chance. Good. There's our points in the top right. It's not our speed, it's our points. Check out that time. Now this looks a bit more difficult than the Commodore Amiga version. Um, the Commodore Amiga version had difficulty levels you can put it in. Looks like we're just straight into this one. Flying around. The um, the aircrafts are quite big. You're flying. You see that there's a bit of an outline around it. It looks a little bit weird, but also I forgive that as well. Sometimes the planes go a bit invisible-ish. Some of the planes, dis the wings disappear slightly, but it is um, drawing the screen quite quickly. And those um, horizontal bars are giving an influence of speed quite well. It's always going to be monochrome a game like this on the ZX Spectrum and quite easily to get confused but I don't think they could have done a great deal better than this. It's playing quite well. I'm presuming Future Stage is going to muck about with the colours. We'll see. We'll see if it's um, hard on the eyes as we go forward but green's pretty standard. Just remember to blink every now and again. Oh god, we've run out of time here. Straight off the course it... Oh, we've done it. Straight off the course it costs you more time. They, the time goes down quicker, I think. Haven't seen this in the Anschluss CPC. Uh, I don't know if it's on the Atari ST or any other systems. Let me know. We're in the 1930s. So it's in the spirit of those films, that magnificent men in their flying machines, which I think I sung quite a lot in the Mega versions. Oh, it has changed colour. We're in America. We won't be doing any singing here, I don't think. Um, this time we're in Arizona or Nevada somewhere. Now, after every few races, if we qualify, there'll be a bonus stage. We must collect balloons and stuff like that. And every so often, you'll get a cup or a trophy. And there might be a bit of tape loading. If there is tape loading, I'll edit it down. There's a bit of a gap at the front of the... Uh, before I loaded this, I'll, lo I'll edit that down as well. Oh, took a bit of a bash there. So that was quite good. As it bashed into those planes, and we took a bit of a, a rumble. Up and down. Good. 
If the plane takes too much damage, it will crash, but um, your man doesn't die. He will parachute out, so uh, that might happen. Yellow and red. This isn't so bad on the eyes as the green. Scrolls quite well at the top there, the horizon going backward and forward. Looks like we've got the same pattern of two planes each time we need to go around. It's not going to cause us too much problems. Time ticking down, it's gone to 25 seconds. Yeah, I think once you get the hang of the handling on this and how to take the plane into the air in the first place, I think it's going to be quite easy until you get to a certain amount of level. So a kid would have liked this, it wouldn't have been too frustrating, a nice easy learning curve. No up or down gears, anything like that. Course completed, seven seconds left, and that gets us an extra bonus of seven, whatever seven seconds calculates. So there's not too many games like this on the ZX Spectrum of this quality. It might not look uh, that good now in hindsight, it hasn't aged particularly well, but for the time 1988 it's okay. Um, the Amiga was starting up the Atari ST and other systems, but um, for the Spectrum this is good. GB Air Rally, uh, thumbs up for this. Um, not the greatest game ever, but not the worst. It's like um, mid just above middling, so middling to good. Because it is quite clever what it's doing. It's just a little bit easy once you get used to it. Um, good. So let's get this straight then. I think we've got it. So just left and right. Fire button and forward to start the plane initially, then pull back to a lift off off the runway. Then it's just uh, left and right up to um, get the plane going up, funnily enough. And it will slow the plane down for the corners. It makes it more manoeuvrable. Down to do a bit of a dive. You can't crash it into the ground and then it will speed up, but it's less manoeuvrable and avoid all the planes at the same time and that's all you need to do so my tactics is try and squeeze past them, fly over them if necessary it was good on the Amiga version seeing the planes all in different colours that added a bit of uh, interest to it this is always going to be the same probably, whoops, probably the Commodore um, 64 one's got different coloured planes but I'm, I'm sure we'll find out at some point in the in the future obviously you won't find out in the past because that's impossible Go, go, go! We won't be completing this game, we'll just do a few stages, see how far I get. We've only got 8 seconds here, I'm sure I'll run out of time at some point. Yeah, see, so the last stage I finished with 7 seconds left, this time I finished with 5.76 seconds left. Which rounds down to 5 seconds uh, for the bonus, great flying it says, and who am I to argue? Right, so got off to a bit of a slow start, trying to get the plane to take off, but I've cracked that now, so let's go for it! in a 1930s style E. Chucks away. Right, we're at night. Oh, this is a bonus stage. Now, on the top right, you'll see the number 35. We need to collect 35 balloons. And we don't want to bash into any other scenery. Come on, oh no. Right, we're off. I didn't think I was going to get off the, off the ground then. So the colours are cyan and black this time. Right, avoid the telegraph poles, get the balloons. So it's going down. We've got to do it in, oh, at least get lower than that, Nick. Now, this is going to be awkward because it's very, it's very hard to distinguish the, the balloons from these telegraph poles at this speed because they're all the same colour. Oh, this is really awkward, man. This bit's not working. I think mm, if I get past this, it'd be luck. So we've got 18 seconds to get how many more balloons? 12, 11. Come on, Tech. Oh, he's, he's parachuted out. He's parachuted out. The plane took too much damage. There he is. Landed in a farm, it looks. But at least he survived. Right, we've got to go again. Um, right, I don't know how many more balloons we've got to get because our scores overlapped it. We've got 10 seconds. Maybe we will do it, will we? Right, more balloons. Let's get as many as possible. I don't know what we've got left, so that's a bit of a flaw in the game. I think we get another life. Sorry, the time has expired. Is that game over or do we get another life? Let's hope we get another life, folks. Yes. Have you seen the game Advanced Lawnmower Simulator I reviewed a long, long time ago? That's a joke game. Those lawnmowers sound a little bit like this airplane. No, they don't really. That was a lie. It was just an excuse to get you to, to have a look at that game. GB Air Rally is much better than Advanced Lawnmower Simulator. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right, let's get the balloons this time. 35. Don't crash into the telegraph poles. Um, that's always good advice uh, for real pilots as well if you're watching. Right, we've crashed into one. We can take a little bit of damage. 27. Watch that count down there. Get that down to zero. Um, I'm not sure this is realistic sounds if you really crash into a balloon at this speed. 
but it's, it's ridiculous. That's why I'm not into stunt playing. Oh, we parachuted out with six left. Remember that, six. Hello, pig. Hello, sheep. Hello, other things. Whatever they are. Right, we've got six left, and we've got... What's that, 18 seconds, does that say? Pop the balloons. Six left. So a bit of a, a glitch there. If you die once, you can't see how many balloons you've got left. Oh, come on, take off plane. We don't want to mess up now. Oh, no. Oh, perhaps I'm not going quick enough. Come on, plane. Right, here we go. Lift off. Eight seconds. Six, five, five, four, three, two, one. One. Surely that's it. Have I done it? Course completed. Woohoo! Yeah. We're off, folks. Great flying. See, I can do night flying. I can do day flying. I can do other flying. Just, I can just do flying generally. There we go. We've got an award there. That bloke awards it. Some woman, apparently she's got a hand in her pocket, but uh, she looks weird. I think they're all results of experiments. Off we go again. It's level two. There'll be more planes this time. Push throttle forward. Get enough speed. Lift off. So you see our plane in front. We can see the cockpit view in, uh, with us as well. I don't really like multiple views, but it sort of like works here. Once you know what's what. Back on the grassland. I presume it's going to cycle around the same colours. Get around that hoodlum in there. Yeah, I think um, after a few goes, this game's a bit too easy, I think. Mm. But if you're into air flying and racing, that's good. I think one of my criticisms of the game on the Amiga version is it was all just checkpoints and nothing else. If they had a race mode, uh, I think the game would have been outstanding, but there's no there's no race mode. So imagine Lotus Esprit Turbo, something like that, but uh, with planes. I think that would have worked really, really well. But um, maybe it's a memory thing, maybe they didn't think of it. Hopefully, maybe they can remake it. How about that for the Spectrum next, where you've got a Grand Prix race event as well? Maybe. Yeah, but uh, checkpoints, here we go. The propeller's still spinning around. I think you can hear it. Did you have this game back in the day on any version? I, I've only recently heard about it. Only first come across it when I reviewed the Amiga version. Spectrum version holds up pretty well for the time. Haven't seen it on the Amstrad CPC, but I presume it plays pretty similar. Uh, that's a system I have no knowledge about at all, apart from it's called CPC. Go, go. Right. It's all about expanding your knowledge, really. So, it's you've got the Blue Mountains back there. Could be the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. And we finished that with 5.44 seconds left. Easy, 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 easy. How many more levels should we do? Um, we might. We'll just do one more, I think. Just see what colour. Oh, it's white. We're over the snow, back into the uh, red. Red what's names? That's technical for you. So it's white and red, like some strange trifle. Take off plane. Actually, this is my favourite colour scheme so far. White and red. Away we go. Always remember to blink, folks. Still, we've got one minute twenty odd left. Doesn't look, seem too much more difficult than the stage before it, to be fair. Yeah, so it's just, essentially every stage is roughly the same, with just a different colour and a different horizon there. So once you've done a few stages, you've pretty much done them all. Looks like the, the uh, planes or the traffic is coming around a bit quicker than stage one. I don't know how many stages this game has got. Perhaps it loops around forever and ever and ever. So you would have got your money's worth for this. Um, as I say, how, how long it would have kept a kid's interest, I don't know. But being a kid, a lot of the um, interest is generated yourself by stories in your mind. And the graphics are good, and so you would think you're flying this plane. Remember, it was a time where you didn't have like mobile phones and app games. I used to spend quite a lot of my dinner time throwing a polystyrene plane through the air to make it do loop-to-loops, and that would go on for an hour. So, so uh, kids were impressed by lesser things then, because they knew no better. A polystyrene airplane was the business, with a plastic propeller on the front, and we pretended that we were, were, well, whoever, aliens, World War II pilots, anyone we wanted, really. Paper airplanes were big then as well. I remember making paper airplanes then drawing characters through a window on the side that there was people in there, and that would be my whole fleet. Yes, a whole toy set made out of paper. Uh, you couldn't present a kid with that. Nowadays, they'd laugh in your face uh, and then want all the latest um, um, VR games, I'd imagine. 
Anyway, are times better or worse? Well, probably both for different reasons. Great flying. Well done, Nick. Yeah, um, uh, we'll leave that one there, I think. So I hope you liked to have a look at that. It was GB Air Rally on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Activision in 1988. Thanks for watching that one. As always, got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put them below. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's a really big, big help. I can't stress that enough for the success of it going forward. If you want to help it a little bit more, then um, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every little bit really does help. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.